You might think environmental regulation is necessary but expensive. After all, businesses have to change what they do in order to comply with regulation. And it seems like that would have to raise their costs. But is that what really happens? Not necessarily. Sometimes businesses make inventions and develop new processes in order to comply with environmental regulation. In other words, they innovate. This innovation can cut the cost of compliance considerably. When this happens, it's a big benefit for society. For example, back in the 1970s, power companies thought that cleaning up air pollution would put them out of business. But instead, it turned out that innovative manufacturers, working in partnership with the Environmental Protection Agency, were able to invent pollution control devices called scrubbers that cut the cost of compliance in half. The same thing happened in the auto industry when Congress decided to reduce smog in our cities. Auto companies feared the worst. But a new entrant to the industry invented a new technology called the catalytic converter that cut a huge amount of pollution out of tailpipe exhaust at a much lower cost than the companies anticipated. Environmental regulation didn't put either power companies or car companies out of business, and everyone breathed a little easier. This sounds too good to be true, is it? No. It turns out that most estimates of the cost of regulation before that regulation is put in place leave technological innovation out of their calculations. And yet, we know that innovation is often a powerful driver of cost reduction. That means that the cost of regulation is overestimated. And that means that the balance between benefits and costs an important factor shaping environmental policy may be biased in favor of costs. And that means that policymakers may be more conservative than they should be when determining how strict regulation should be. Technological innovation doesn't necessarily follow environmental regulation the way night follows day. How policymakers go about their business can have a big effect on whether regulated companies choose to pursue innovation. Experts in this field recommend a few simple rules to guide policymaking. First, be ambitious. Don't back off of an action that would fix an important environmental problem on the basis of a simple cost-benefit analysis that fails to incorporate innovation. Second, be smart. Set standards that cause firms to stretch what their technology can do, but don't make impossible demands of them. Third, Encourage competition and entrepreneurship. Competition stimulates innovation, and startup firms often think outside the box compared to well-established firms. Fourth, help out with research funding. Government and academic researchers can work in partnership with industry to develop environmental technology innovations. Fifth, be patient and vigilant. Innovation can take a long time, and it isn't a sure thing. Policymakers sometimes need to be flexible and adjust their schedule and even their goals if a concerted effort to innovate just doesn't work out. So, is environmental regulation really as expensive as we think? Not if policymakers follow those five rules.